the new trailer for Ballerina, the new Ana de Armas, John Wick spinoff, is yes. come out yes. with the trailer. We're going to mm -hmm. watch it. We're going to react to it. We're going to share our thoughts, our first reactions, our analysis after we react to this trailer. So stick around okay. for then. Let's go ahead and jump right into reacting. On. Do you like to dance? I know a school where they teach dances. Ballerina. I could none. take you there if you'd like. Teach dances is fun. Mm -hmm. To stop the assassin, you must become the assassin. You will always be weaker. You will always be small. You want to win? Improvise. Adapt. Mm, realistic. Welcome to the Continental. Eve Macaro of the Ruscaroma. What a pleasure to see you again. You have no idea what you just walked hey. into. Okay. They killed my father. This isn't done until they're dead. Oh, I love it. Hey. Is a very humbling thing. Get after it, thank you. You are him. John Wick. The one they call the Baba Yaga. They're gonna show us. How do I start doing what you do? Looks like you already yeah. have. Of course they're gonna show it. Okay, okay, fun. All right. Your first reactions, Joshua. Your um, first reactions. Two things. Uh, it feels John Wick Salt esque. Uh, it's gonna be kind of you know Angelina Jolie Salt kind of in a John okay. Wick way. And then also I am really, I liked that they threw Norman Reedus in here. Uh, I, I, I like, he's a good actor and yeah, he you're a big fan. More. Yeah. You're a big fan. Um, my first reactions is I think this might be a lot of fun. I think this actually, so the, the biggest critique mm -hmm. I always have when it comes to action movies starring women, not because it shouldn't happen. In fact, it should, my biggest critique is unrealistic fighting. Like when you okay. have a 300 pound man fighting a woman who on a good day after a meal is 160 <laughs> pounds. You know what I mean? That is Wait, not a is realistic. 160 pounds? Yeah, that, that's not a real, like look at Ana de Armas, how heavy yeah, you think she, she is. She's not 160. She's not even, she's probably kissing 130. <laughs> I'm just saying the weight <laughs> differential doesn't matter how skilled you are. Um, that is a really big mountain to climb. And so oh, yeah. the style in which the fighting takes place is very important. Thing. You have to. So like what I saw in this trailer was I saw her using a knife quit moving quicker mm. than her opponent. You know, she can move faster yep. using a knife, right? That's valid. Also, she used the weight. She used her whole body weight a lot, meaning she so, would jump on people I'm, and like use her I'm not entire a fan body of, weight. I feel like we saw that with, we started seeing that around Black Widow, like um, right. Scarlett Johansson. And then we saw that with all the women that fought. And I'm Incorrect. not a fan of that because you know Incorrect. the likelihood of, of, of a woman jumping up and doing that is very small. I like Look, the nice. Okay, okay, but, okay, 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 okay. We got to. You got to, you're, you're talking out of pocket right now. No, no, right? I, I got a pocket. My pocket's right here. This is, this is, pocket, 
It's right I here. I fundamentally disagree with you because the Black Widow in Marvel, that style of fighting, was the most realistic fighting I have seen a woman do. If a woman, right? Have you seen a woman do this? I'm just saying. If, if you a, actually saw a woman do this in real life, I'd be like, okay, you are right, and I was wrong, and this, I will give it, you props for that. It logically makes sense. <laughs> when I see a superhero lady or someone in an action film okay. and a woman like elbows a dude and like throws him over a table i'm sorry I, this is not a sexist point there is a weight <laughs> differentiation there yes, that wouldn't no. happen right so when a woman i yes. don't want to see a woman like duking with a dude i want to see a woman jumping on his face and flipping him around using her whole body weight because that is the most effective way a woman can fight a uh, uh, a person that is a lot heavier than they are effectively and win. Also, like I said, the quickness and the and the thoughtfulness of the fighting, right? It is not it is not about hand to hand duking it out. It, no, I'm just saying, I, I would agree. It's not about the duking. But <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna give the this this movie. That's what we're doing right now. Is what this movie's for. Why people have fallen in love with these movies, the John Wick movies, because we can do this. There, it's not so much because for the it's story. it's good action. And we can discuss it. It's these movies. These John Wick movies are not just so much for the story. They're not deep movies, but they are movies we can argue about the fighting. We can talk about the fighting. We can enjoy the action and the fighting with these movies that's well, what rewind movie the tape is. rewind the tape just go back and look at how she's fighting she is not fighting oh, by like to, punching still, a dude in the face uh, i'm just saying she's you're not still want to argue like about this we're gonna have to but, watch we're gonna have to watch the movie to, to finish this <laughs> argument um i love the cinematography in this obviously so um who's the who are the creators of this so like uh leon wiseman or len wiseman um the people who created uh john wick these yep. guys like Bullet Train and stuff. These are mm -hmm. people that are in Hollywood right now that are like, we want to do action films, but we want to do action films yeah, in a they, new way. The, um, originally they were the Ip Man. If I'm if I'm not uh, something I'm not sorry. forgetting Ip Ip Man. If I'm pronouncing that right, the martial arts films. They mm -hmm. that's where they kind of started off. Or I don't know if they started there, but that was kind of what they were known for before John Wick. But right and um. And so it's very valuable to see, like, how are we going to tell an action film? Like, we've seen people fight mm -hmm. each other on screen forever, but how do I'll we talk. make it? How, how do we make it fresh? How do we make it new? How do we make the fighting style and the way it's captured cinematically interesting? So, like, mm -hmm. for example, I saw I saw her get a dude in a behind a door. She slammed the door as it's blowing up. You know what yeah. I mean? And and it's it's like carnage, like this the the composition of that scene and how well it was crafted is just yeah. like it makes these type of movies gold because it's like this isn't just some shaky cam Jason Bourne action flick, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like this is very thought out uh, choreography to that's doing a dance with the cinematography, right? And it's mm -hmm. something that we haven't seen before and I loved with every John Wick film or with every ballerina film um, or with every movie like Bullet Train, although Bullet Train's story, let's be honest, was lacking seriously. The fighting on like a small bullet train was fascinating and like the mm -hmm. the physical humor they, they ingrained into that. And so that's what I, I'm really looking forward to this movie. The, uh, the, the description of the film on IMDb is a young female assassin seeks revenge against the people who killed her family. That the trailer told yeah. us that. These movies are not deep. <laughs> you know what I mean? No. And neither was John Wick's. These movies are not deep because like, like I said, know, Yeah, like I said, they are for us to watch it and then discuss the fighting and have fun about the fighting and have fun with the action again. Yes. Like bring back action again, right? Bring it back. Well, or uh, it, Braga, <laughs> Braga. I, I don't get that. I was gonna say bring just back like, action again. Oh, bring back, but just just I like Justin know. Timberlake is bringing back sexy, where they're bringing back action. 
sure. it's back. It's it's yeah. bu- bugger. Uh, anyways, <laughs> thanks. Um, for, do you do you have any other thing you want to touch on? I was about to close it, but no, I'd just say leave your comments down below. Uh, yeah, let us know what you guys think of this trailer. Is it exciting you? Does it seem fun? Um, what are your thoughts? Love to hear them. Subscribe to the channel.